But the two, which are my best, they are testless. That's why I really take them. This video that Sarah Poro recently posted on her Facebook page appeared strange to many. She openly declared that she was living with HIV and was faithfully taking the life-saving antiretroviral drugs and encouraged others to do the same. Sarah told NTV that her boyfriend could have infected her when she was in third year in the university. More often than not, couples in affinity or relationship, when they have lived together for quite some time, they tend to build trust that overrides the fear for HIV. And that's exactly what happened to Sarah after she decided to sleep with her boyfriend after abstaining for one year, and she did it without testing. Oh, I trusted this man so much. We, we were trying to see how best we can upgrade the relationship. So, okay, to me it was now okay to have sex with him at that time because we had waited for so long. Sarah is employed at the Makere University Business School, MOOBS, as a personal secretary in the deputy principal's office. She's a former guild speaker at the university. Just went to the health clinic, MOOBS health clinic, and decided to do an HIV test. So I would say that is the day I got to do um, HIV positive. After ascertaining her HIV status, Sarah convinced her boyfriend to also test for HIV. The boyfriend also tested positive. I cried because I was wishing I had done a test with him before engaging with him sexually. What was your boyfriend's reaction when the results, boom, were dropped on the table? He looked devastated. Sarah was convinced that it was her boyfriend who infected her because she had tested negative in October 2016 and she had not had sex outside her relationship till she tested in January 2017. I asked him, Are there, is there a possibility that you could have infected other women unknowingly? Because you know yourself. You cannot have sex with someone and you forget. And he tells me no. The news was devastating, but she picked up herself and graduated in February. She did not share the news with her mother. I had to do it for her only. I wanted her to enjoy the yeah, moment. A week after graduation, Sarah traveled to their home in Lira and picked courage to break the news to her mother who is a widow. She was really shocked. And she just told me, Sarah, there is nothing I can do other than accepting you the way you are now. She lives alone in Mutungo, but makes sure that she takes her medication on time as prescribed by the doctor. I feel free. You know, the pressure of knowing you're, yeah. you're in a taxi and you cannot freely take your medication because you do not know what Sudhir will say about me. I really don't like it. Sarah explains that instead of living in regret, she chose to open up and use her mistake to save others, especially vulnerable youth who could end up in her situation. I really plan to go as far as I can to make sure that no one gets HIV. Indeed, no one deserves to get HIV so dear. The HIV activist says she did her best to be careful in her first relationship. With my first boyfriend, we went for a test. Yes, I was fine. He was negative, I was negative. And we had sex using condoms. She has so far used up about eight bottles of ARVs since she was put on drugs, which she previously dreaded. Sarah hopes to find love again. I know I will get married, whether to an HIV negative man or to an HIV negative positive man, any works for me. This is her message to the fellow youths. Uh, of late, you can never know someone is positive just by looking at them. You need to test. Her boss, the deputy principal at Makere University Business School says, Sarah is the second person at MOOBS to openly declare their status. She's considered a key resource at the university. Uh, we shall give her a platform to talk to students, the fresh students, to the continuing students, and uh, give her additional support. Sarah has received many positive comments following her Facebook video upload, but others are not impressed. I, I, I got to meet uh, one person who is, uh, who is married on Facebook, and surprisingly, it has become a problem to me. Because I tell this guy, don't you follow my posts on Facebook? Then I'm like, above all, you're married. And you know I cannot date a man who is married. Yes, the wife has threatened to kill me, you know. 
So I had to take it further and make sure at least police has got a grip of it. There is a saying that it is easier to prepare and prevent than to repair and repent. Sarah knows this but is confident that her future is bright. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.